One of the biggest compliments I've ever gotten on a cosplay was somebody asking me where I got my Camp Half-Blood shirt. Because I made it, and I think it's really awesome that it looks like I did not make it. Which is what leads me into today's topic, which is cosplaying on a budget, because lord knows we can't all afford Camp Half-Blood shirts, I can't. So here's what you do, is you go to Michael's and you get the cheapest orange shirt you can find, or like Walmart, if they have plain orange shirts there, sometimes they do. And you get spray-on fabric paint, and you put a template, you print a template off the internet, because <laughs> that's cheap, and you cut it out, and you put it on your shirt, and you spray it, and then you can pretend that you have the moolah to buy actual Camp Half-Blood shirts. I'll put a link in the description to a good template for y'all. If you are cheap like I am. Another great... Dogs are barking. Another really handy thing is just like having old props from Halloween stores. For example, I have this old, old sword from like a children's Halloween store. But look what I can do. Which way to this? Here. Not here. I struggle. Like that. And suddenly, it's the Sword of Summer. <laughs> so basically the key is knowing how to use your resources. The other good thing to do is know how to do makeup, because it is very easy to change your bone structure and make yourself look a different age with makeup, or you can do what I do and put green eyeshadow on your cheeks and make it look like you blush green and put on green freckles. Look at my Instagram page if you don't know what I'm talking about, because it's my Juniper cosplay, which is like the best cosplay I've ever done, in my opinion. Because like, this is a dress I use for the Juniper cosplays. And if you know me in real life, you know that I wear this dress like all the time. This is not a special fancy cosplay dress. Like I got it from, I don't know, Urban Planet or something. And this is the dress I wear for everything. This is like a beach dress for me, but it's also like a special occasion dress. Like I'm, I wore this when I um, saw Matilda on Broadway. Like I, it's for everything. So this was a very rambly video because in all honesty, I just forgot to make a video today. And so I'm just like, uh, yeah, this is kind of an interesting topic and like relevant to what I do. Um, bonus tip that I'm going to say right now that is very handy because if you are anything like me you have freckles but then you put foundation on them whenever you're cosplaying and then no one can see your freckles anymore which is a problem when you're cosplaying Rachel Elizabeth there which is a thing that I do so you get one of these you get a stipple brush mine is dirty right now but you get a stipple brush and you dip it in brown um, grease paint or cream paint and then you can just dot it if you swipe, you'll ruin it, but dot it on your face, and instant freckles. And yeah, um, I'm gonna go. This is a very hastily made video. My apologies. Probably the only helpful thing in this video was, was the Camp Half-Blood shirt, but oh well. Nice to see y'all. I'll have something better tomorrow, I promise. Bye!